open world games allow us to explore vast lands and play with other players as we bump into them in the open world. MMOs and MMORPGs and all of these open world games are just a ton of fun, extremely immersive, and now you can experience them all on mobile as well. Today I want to put together for you guys a list of 10 of these titles that are really great, worth you taking a look at, so let's not wait any longer, let's dive into my top 10 open world games. Of course, on mobile. The first game I'm sharing with you guys today is called Moonlight Blade. With 100,000 downloads and four stars, we are looking at a gorgeous animated style MMO RPG game that has amazing combat. We've known this game for years over on PC and now it has a mobile gaming experience as well. Obviously we have the Chinese style artwork and beauty that we can see in many of these style games. It's also got a beautiful world of martial arts containing a different combination of techniques and different features with high quality art and combat that is known in this whole genre, but done quite well inside of this game. Best thing here is that it's an open world that you can explore and it's a beautiful one. Next on the list, we have Undawn. This is an open world survival style game that's set in a post-apocalyptic world. Of course here, you're gonna be taking on different zombies and the undead, but that is not all that you have to explore. Inside of Undawn, you need to take down enemies that are just humans like you trying to survive in this post-apocalyptic world against these massive, big, and brutal enemies that you're gonna encounter. Inside of this game, not only are you going to be able to survive, but you're gonna also need to create your own home, farm your own land, care for yourself, drive in vehicles. This game has so much self-care abilities, more than I've seen in any other games on mobile. It really is a ton of fun. It's completely immersive. You can work together with others in the open world to take down these big bosses, and it's gonna be some great combat that you really will enjoy. Tower of Fantasy is another MMORPG that I thought would gain more popularity than it actually did. It's a beautiful looking title, anime inspired with all the artwork with a ton of great combat as we had mentioned in many of the games that we're going to see here today. It's an open world MMORPG with a science fiction adventure Tower of Fantasy style, something that's really unique to this game itself. The customization options are endless, and really the artwork style inside of this entire world are to die for. This one's brought to us by Level Infinite. It's available on both PC and on mobile, and what we're looking at here is an anime-inspired, post-apocalyptic, sci-fi art style, free-form character development style game. All in an MMO so you can play with your friends. Introducing Dawnlands. This is a crafting and a survival style open world game for you to play. The graphics here are really unique, some really sharp and good looking, distinct graphic styles that you'll see here. A lot of fantasy style artwork in this as well as, well as creatures that you're gonna see that really bring you into a beautiful fantasy realm. It's an action adventure multiplayer style game that really does require a lot of cooperation so that you could survive throughout this game. Again, it's really gonna highlight, I'm gonna do that again. It's really going to highlight the need to work together as a team, bringing you into an open world where teamwork is key and where the fun is really just about to begin and essentially endless. You could use your creativity as you construct, as you build, and as you survive in this Dawnlands world. Black Desert Mobile. This is a game that you've probably heard of. It's an MMORPG style game with so much depth to it that it will keep you busy for long, long periods of time. There's so much different customization you could do to your character and to all of the buffs for your character inside of the game that it's gonna keep you needing more knowledge. There's so much to learn inside of the game. It's an anime-inspired game, but not as deep anime as we know from many other Honkai-style games. It's a massive open world bringing you and other players together, forcing you to engage in combat together to take down the greater cause. You have some big mobs of enemies as well as some big bosses to fight along the way. Lots of progression, lots of fun. Essentially, you could be living another life inside of this one. And as we hit the center of the video, let me know in the comment section below what is your most favorite of all time open world game. 
Now, when people tell me they want to play a game that's a lot like World of Warcraft, but not World of Warcraft, I can only recommend Albion Online. This game is a life sink. It's an MMORPG game, all taking place on one server. Whether you've been playing the game for years or if you're brand new and starting today, you will all be playing together in the same land. But what exactly are you doing inside of Albion Online? Well, you're going to be working together with hundreds of other people in the same guild. You're going to be crafting, building, farming, gathering, and fighting to protect what is yours inside of the game, your territory, your land, and your people. This is one of my favorite games on the list here today, but you have to have a lot of time to really engage in it. Next, we have RPG Torum Online MMORPG. This game gives you a little bit more of that classic RPG feel, but does offer us an open world for us to explore with a graphic package that brings us back a little bit in time. This one's probably a little bit more unpolished than others on the list here today, but it is another option for you if you're looking to play a game that has billions of players that have actually played and an active community of players still playing here today. Also, the combat that you're gonna experience inside of this game is just gonna feel different than many of the others, maybe because of the age of the package or maybe just how the game is. Either way, it's a fun one to dive into if you're looking for an open world. Frostborn is another action RPG inside of an open world for you that has a dark fantasy feel to it. This game is another one that has a lot of depth. I've tried playing it and I've played it quite a few times, put a few hours in each time, but it's something that again is extremely time consuming and I personally don't have the time to throw into this game as well as the others that I play. It is really well done. It works well together when you're playing with friends in the same guild and trying to fight for the same cause. Frostborn was something that was supposed to take over the world and be one of the top mobile games. And of course it is not exactly that, but it still is a really solid one that you can engage in. Not only are you gonna be doing action RPG style things, but it's also a survival style game that really takes a lot of multiplayer combat and multiplayer fusion to be successful. It definitely is a fun game that really entices exploration. The Legend of Neverland is another anime-inspired MMORPG that brings you into a land that's bright, that's beautiful, and that is extremely social. Here, you're gonna be diving into a world of people that are all engaging within that same realm to take on their quests, go into their battles, craft their weapons, and essentially communicate with others. If you're looking for a world where you may wanna meet some new people, well, of course, any game on this list can do well, but this is another great option if you're looking for something that has that anime-inspired theme to it and you like the artwork style. Now, old school RuneScape had to be on the list here today. This is a game that has been around since the dawn of time. This is something that was competing with World of Warcraft back in the day. It's an MMORPG game that is massive, has an amazing community of people that have been playing it forever, and is really just a really well put together game. Now, when you look at it, you say, Echo, that thing is extremely aged and it really doesn't look so great. And that may be true, but I feel like this is one of the genres, the MMORPG games and the open world style games that can get away with graphics that are just a little bit subpar. And this is just a graphic package that we would have been used to playing 25 years ago. That being said, the game is still incredible. It has a massive community and is still one of the best in genre if you're looking for an open world experience and something that could really be your second life. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end of the video. If you want to support my channel, go ahead and download this game right here. It's one that I'm actually in love with and playing on a brand new channel. And I think you may like it as well if you give it a shot. I'll see you guys back here in tomorrow's video.